Have you ever wondered how do we measure the temperature of a star? What is the chemical composition of a star and the abundance of different elements in those stars? And many such questions, then you are in the right place. Now before going much farther, let us have a historical introduction of spectroscopy. In 1835, Auguste Comte, a prominent French philosopher, stated that we will never know how to study by any means the chemical composition of stars or their mineralogical structure. He was soon proved wrong. In the later half of the 19th century, astronomers began to embrace two new techniques, spectroscopy and photography. Together they helped bring about a revolution in people's understanding of the cosmos. For the first time, scientists could investigate what the universe was made of. This was a major turning point in the development of astronomy as astronomers were able to record and document not only where the stars were but what they were as well. Astronomical spectroscopy was an offshoot of chemists' attempts to analyze materials on Earth as well as scientists' interest in the nature of color. There were some early attempts to explain spectroscopy of astronomical objects before 1850. Joseph Fraunhofer, for example, mounted a prism in front of the objective lens of a small telescope, making a crude spectroscope. He found that when light from the sun and bright stars like Sirius was analyzed, there were characteristic absorption lines or dark lines present in the spectrum produced. He meticulously catalogued the exact wavelength of each dark line, which are still known today as Fraunhofer lines and level the strongest of them with letters. Many of these levels, such as the sodium D lines, are still used today. Fraunhofer not only recorded the first astronomical spectrum, he recorded the first ever high-resolution spectrum. Fraunhofer's spectrum was the first to resolve discrete line transitions. Fraunhofer, however, died before he could study this phenomenon more. The first real step in understanding Fraunhofer's observations came in the middle of the 19th century with the experiments of Gustav Kirchhoff and Robert Bunsen. These scientists studied the color of the light emitted when metals were burned in flames. They found that in certain cases, the wavelength of the emitted light gave an exact match with the Fraunhofer lines. The sodium D lines, which give sodium street lights their characteristic orange color, were one such example. This experiment demonstrated that the Fraunhofer lines were a direct consequence of the atomic composition of the Sun. To understand the origin of these lines, we had to wait until the development of quantum mechanics, as it is through the study of spectra that we have learned of many of the riches in the universe around us. The development of astrophysics has also been closely linked to that of spectroscopy and quantum mechanics. In the upcoming videos, we will try to understand the basics of stellar spectroscopy and its importance in astronomy and astrophysics. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.